Hey guys, um, let me show you how to get into our um, first week's assignments. So go to your home page, and if you scroll down um, past the syllabus, you will see um, click on to do what this week. Okay, so this one is the week one overview, introduction, and Wednesday assignments. Every Every Wednesday, every Sunday assignments, this will change. You'll be able to go straight in and um, see what assignments you have for the week. So click on that. All right, so it's going to open up and it tells you what I told you in the introduction video. The class will be centered around Stephen King's Misery. You'll be required to watch the film before the end of the semester because your proctored final exam will be a film review on the actual um, film Misery. But you got to watch it before your second essay in week two. So go ahead and watch it. You may have to watch it more than once, actually. And then here's the link to the film. Okay. All right. So here at the very beginning, these are just learning objectives. This talks about um, our course objectives and what we're doing this week and how that affects that. Or if you scroll on down, here's Wednesday assignments. Okay. You have three assignments going on this week or before Wednesday. The first one is to complete the orientation survey. Um, that's something that you do for us for online. So if you'll go ahead and um, click on that, it'll probably be the easiest quiz you've ever taken. I do have to go in and change your grade because the last question is a phone number where you can be contacted. I have to go in and actually manually give you the um, points for that. So. Um, if you don't make 100, you will eventually just let me get in there and fix that for you. All right, first thing is to read through the SA1 assignment instructions and outline and complete the SA1 outline. Okay, so we have to jump immediately in. Okay, so if you click right here on SA1 assignments. All right, here's where it kind of explains to you, and I'm going to briefly tell you what you got to do. Um, because you haven't watched Misery yet, we're not going to talk about that film specifically yet. So what we're going to do is so many of Stephen King's novels, short stories, um, have been adapted into film. Okay, So what you're going to do is choose three trailers that are based on Stephen King's work. Okay, So you have to kind of keep the, there's a boundary here that a lot of these he helped put into film, but many of them directors took his novel um, his screenplays and made them into film okay so he's not the he's not the director he's just the one where they're taking and adapting his work into film um, one of the trailers that you choose um, has to be the trailer for misery okay since that is the one that we're going to concentrate in class one of your three trailers needs to be misery and you can choose any of the other two and if you look right here it says king's horror film trailers if you click on that this has the YouTube trailer already embedded into the course. So you can see there's Carrie, The Shining, there's Creep Show, Cujo is a good one, um, Christine, that's the crazy car, Children of the Corn, Firestarter. So you can see there's many to choose from. And some of you have asked in the past if you could um, pick your own, if there's another one that's not on this list, of course. If it's based on a Stephen King work, it is viable and you can certainly use it. Okay, so that's already embedded in there for you to kind of look and see um, um, how many uh, trailers you can choose from. So any two that you want to there. All right, after you've chosen your three trailers, you're going to watch them a lot. Okay, you're going you're gonna to watch the trailers many times because you're looking for things that you don't naturally look for when you watch a trailer or a film. You're looking at music, sound, sound effects the angle of cameras, um, symbols like graphics, like weapons, or um, anything that would symbolize to you that this is going to be a suspense film. Lighting. So all of these little things you're going to be looking at when you evaluate these trailers. A little hint, one way to do it is to watch it without the sound. So you're just looking at um, the graphics. You're looking at what what are they trying to visually show you? And then another time, don't look at it, but just listen to it. Listen to the sounds. Listen to, um, do they have a narrator? Listen to what dialogue they choose to use in the trailer. All right, after you do that, you'll complete an outline based on the information gathered from each of the three trailers. All right, so I kind of list through your, what do you need to do at a time? The first one is to go through the, the page that i showed you and pick your three trailers. Make sure Misery is one of your three. 
All right. Next thing is go through this PowerPoint that's embedded here in the course that shows you what things to look for in your trailers. Okay. Um, you may need to download this and you can do that right there or you can look at it here. But this kind of goes through what's a trailer, what is its, um, what's its purpose. Um, this one is like genre trailers. So in other words, like if you go, um, you go to a movie and you watch a trailer for a comedy, what they do there is they show you all the funny parts. Because if you don't laugh during the trailer, are you going to want to go see the film? Mm, probably not. All right, it tells you the categories that you'll be analyzing the trailer, sound, graphics, content, language, studio, and celebrity recognition. So in your trailer, if it says such and such actor is going to be in it, it kind of piques the interest of the audience, makes, it, makes them want to see it more. All right, this just talks about the different things, dialogue. I give you some examples, scream, sound effects, um, and sometimes it's silent, and that could be the creepiest part of all of the trailer graphics. So just go through there um, and look at all of those and kind of understand what we're doing there. Um, I've also made it into a power, a, well, a handout. I took the PowerPoint and made it into a handout so you could easily screenshot this or um, print it out so it's really easy for you to see the categories that you can talk about. All right, then read through our assignment sheet because this just takes what I've asked you to do and um, given you some extra information. And it goes through and says like the introduction, what would you want to put here, body paragraph one, two, and three, and conclusion. And just real quickly, your introduction is just how you introduce your topic. Body paragraph one is your first trailer and the characteristics. Body paragraph two is going to be your second trailer and its characteristics. And body paragraph three is going to be your third trailer and its characteristics. So one of those three will be misery, the other two of your choice, and the conclusion. All right, number four, I've included an example of brainstorming I did on a trailer. In some of my 16-week and 8-week classes, I require them to do this brainstorming form, which, you know, you have, here's the first trailer, and you go through and pick out which ones you're doing, and you give me examples. We don't really have time to do that, but I wanted you to see kind of how to organize as you begin writing your outline. So I did one, for example, the dark half. And I did it, it's like an example of hard to find things to write about. In other words, I put as little as possible. Okay, it's like I watched the watched the trailer one time and just, you know, gave you some little or no information. Here's the same trailer, the dark half, but where I go into a lot more detail. And you can kind of read through there and see what you're looking for as you do your own. But you don't have to do the brainstorming form. That was just an example there. All right. Complete the following outline and submit to Canvas. Um, here is what it looks like, and you would download it here. But what I want you to do is write directly into the boxes, okay? So you're not actually writing your essay. You're just doing it point by point or really sentence by sentence. So I ask you to begin with a statement that somehow defines suspense as a film genre in your own words. Here's an example. Suspense films have existed for a long time because they cultivate and spread fear and our society loves to be frightened. Okay, these are suggestions, okay? They are not for you to use, okay? They're just there to help you guide what you may want to write. Now, your thesis sentence, I give you one that you can use. Suspense movie trailers based on a Stephen King novel use several techniques to create suspense and entice audience to see the film you may use the thesis, okay? These other two sentences come up with your own. All right, then you have topic sentence for body paragraph one. So this is where you choose your first trailer. Based on a Stephen King short story, the trailer for Children of the Corn uses sound, graphics, and recognition to create suspense. Okay, so you know my trailer name. You know what three characteristics I'm going to look at, and you know that all of these three characteristics build or create suspense. All right, if you keep scrolling. I've also included a sample outline, okay, and I used, um, I can't remember, I think I, I went through and did the dark half, so I've used my brainstorming sheet here. So I give you an example of body paragraph one, so you kind of know what you're trying to do, okay. Again, these are samples, things to help guide you, not for you to use. All right, and then when you're done with your outline, go ahead and click here and submit. Um, what you'll, 
once you go through this, I think you'll understand what I'm looking for. But just to sum it up again, you're looking at three trailers based on a Stephen King work. And you are looking to see how certain characteristics in the trailer makes you want to see the film. Okay, so if you scroll down. Hold on. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can see, so if I'm looking at the Misery trailer, and I've given you some example of trailers and what to look for in the PowerPoint. But right here, you know, if it's got any kind of blood or anything that's like a graphic image that's kind of disgusting or scary or disturbing, that's something that you would mention in there. Okay. Um, any questions, you can come over here to Canvas Inbox and let me know what your questions are. All right, have a good week.